Well, greetings team. Welcome back um, to the latest episode. I've brought you up this end of the yard um, and just to bring you up to speed, I did a really, really heavy top dress, especially up this end. Probably about three weeks ago now we're coming up on. So get into edging and mowing, giving this a bit of a haircut and yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it's finally time for me um, to put some fertilizer out, like some actual fertilizer out. Um, I'm probably overdue to be honest. Um, so just to give you like a bit of a background, um, I got in touch with ICL because I've sort of pretty much burned through all the fertilizer that I had um, out here. And I sort of said, hey guys, I'm interested in sort of documenting a trial on your products on my YouTube channel, um, just because I didn't want to upset anyone and, um, you know, do this without their knowledge. So um, they've been really, really great. Um, and they've said, yeah, yeah, go ahead, do that. Um, so basically, I think it was quite some time ago now, but I went to a turf industry day at Red Cliff Dolphins um, back when Wayne Bennett had no marquee signings. <laughs> He's still got none. Um, and I, I went to this turf day and Will Pierce from ICL spoke. Um, and it was one of the most impressive sort of presentations that I've seen. Um, so there was no like sales pitch, which is what I was sort of expecting from, you know, a fertilizer company. There was no real sales pitch. It was, <laughs> it was literally like a scientific report. Um, it was like, here's the here's the science behind um turf nutrition just in general like it was a really good inf informative session um and then it went on to and here's some trial data um let's unpack that and see what that means um and it was just so impressive um if any of you have sort of seen um wally's commentary on like australian lawn fanatics and stuff you'll see he's like a textbook with arms and legs and i mean that in the most respectful way um so when he speaks you listen um and he had some really interesting things to say and i think um i'm probably part one of the people that have sort of seen you know people talk about slow release fertilizers controlled release fertilizers and i've sort of been like eh, same same but different like whatever um, and I think a lot of people online, especially use the, use that terminology interchangeably. Um, and they, they're different, they're totally different. And this is sort of the big thing I took from that day. Um, we, we should all know by now that slow release fertilizers are much better to use for your lawn long-term than fast release fertilizers. So fast release fertilizers are those ones that really last like three or four weeks. They give a massive kick and it's usually in the form of urea. Um, and there's nothing else to sort of sustain that feeding. And so it's not really sustainable to just keep applying fertilizer every three to four weeks. It's, it's not what you want. Um, so slow release fertilizer is better than that. And then better again is controlled release fertilizer. And that's the technology um, that underpins, I guess, all the ICL fertilizers. Um, and so I, I, I've been really interested in it. I've been doing heaps of research and that's why I sort of chose this product range as the one that I'm going to trial this season. Um, so ultimately slow release fertilizer is sort of dependent on microbial activity 
um, like your soil temperature, but also soil moisture. So they're sort of things that you can't actually control. So they give you a time period of usually like they say like six to eight weeks, but it's typically around the six week mark um, that I know I've dealt with that you sort of look at your turf and you go, yeah, that's, that's looking hungry. And so you get the fertilizer down again. Now I'm not gonna bag any products. All of the products on the market are good, high quality products. Otherwise they wouldn't sell and they obviously work. Um, so I'm certainly not bad mouthing slow release products, fast release. They all have a use um, and everyone has their own different budget. Um, I just wanted to sort of explain the difference between slow release and controlled release. So when we're talking about controlled release fertilizer, it's a different type of technology. Obviously you have more control over nutrient deliver delivery and nutrient longevity. Um, so that's why when you have a look at like the ICL range, so for instance, I'm gonna use ProTurf because I'm not cutting low enough to need a greens grade. Um, and ProTurf is a nice mini prill. I like mini prill fertilizers. Um, and this product will last, I think it says two to three months. Yeah, so eight to 12 weeks. So if you take an average, let's say 10 weeks, this product will last. Um, the reason they can claim, and you'll notice on all of their products, they sort of seem to last longer. And the reason they can do that is because of the controlled release technology um, in their fertilizers. They can also control the nutrient delivery. So rather than like a quick spike in feeding and then like a trough where your lawn looks starved, it, the product basically makes sure that the feeding is happening consistently over that time period. Um, so that's where controlled release fertilizers are better. There's also less nutrient leaching. So when you have like rain events or anything like that, you don't get as much loss of say like elemental nitrogen into your soil um, due to leaching. So it also reduces that. So what that also means then is I don't have to apply, if I'm using um, a controlled release fertilizer like this one, I don't have to apply it as often, uh, which is good for me because I'm pretty time poor. So as I said to ICL, I'm keen to use like four products. I want to really simplify things, see if I can get away with it, see what the lawn looks like. I'm going to document it all obviously on YouTube so I can't hide anything. Um, full disclosure, I've paid for everything. Um, it's not sponsored in any way. Um, I'm eventually going to sell ICL products through, uh, through Real Solutions. I don't even do that now. So if you are watching this and you're like, where can I get those products? My tip to you is head to our big green shed. Um, Lenny from Australian Lawn Fanatics will take care of you there. He gets my plug, so go and support him. ProTurf in particular has um, two, I guess, bits of technology. So it's got a product called Polyhalite in it, um, which is a natural, naturally occurring, I guess, mineral. So um, I read they, they sort of discovered it about a kilometre and a half down in a mine. Um, and it sort of adds the magnesium, calcium and potassium source. And they've noted that obviously it releases over the two to three months. Now their poly S technology, their like coating, um, it releases your nitrogen and your other nutrients, your macronutrients over that same time period. So they actually um, match up really, really nicely. So that's why they've put both of those products into ProTurf. So that's the sort of technology behind ProTurf and why I'm really interested in it. I really like the idea of the polyhalite. Um, you'll remember from previous episodes, I've got quite acidic soil. I've put a heap of lime down, um, but usually in acidic soil, um, you're sort of deficient in magnesium, calcium, and potassium. And guess what polyhalite has? All three of them. Um, so I'm really keen to use this. Um, it is a mini prill. Hopefully this shows up on camera. So really nice small granules. This is for if you're cutting like six mil and above. Um, it's not a greens grade, um, but greens grade is probably overkill for a home lawn, um, unless you're cutting with like a, you know, a greens master or something like that. If you're using a Scotty, then this type of thing will be, this product will be perfect for you. Um, so yeah, full disclosure, I paid for these. I'm going to do a trial. I'm not, I'm gonna show you everything. You, I, you'll obviously see it, I'm documenting it. Um, and like I said to ICL, like I, I plan to be really, really honest and upfront. 
um, in my YouTube channel. So I'll say what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And they're happy for me to go ahead and do that. So thank you to them. Um, yeah, I think we'll just sort of get this out. But oh, what I will say is I've probably hesitated to pull the trigger on the ICL products before now. Partly because sometimes you look at things and you look at the, all the buzz around products and you wonder, is it a bandwagon thing or is it legitimate? Um, and then the other thing I guess that sort of made me hesitate in a way is the cost. Um, so I do want to address that. These products are typically a little bit more expensive than other products. So for example, ProTurf's about $110 I think in most retailers. So it's a 25 kilo bag. Um, I've used a heap of mini pro products before and they've been around the 70, 80 dollar mark. So, you know, you're looking at 30, 40 dollars difference. Um, and so you're sort of like, well, do you get bang for your buck? And I've done some maths. So because of the whole controlled release, sorry, I'm like, I'm so old. <laughs> I'm gonna sit like this. Because of the whole controlled release fertilizer, um, controlled release technology so this product lasts I think I've said 10 weeks right so if you're reapplying this product every 10 weeks you're gonna apply this granular five times a year right simple maths meanwhile let's say product X here um, a different mini pro fertilizer and I've used a couple before they're all good like I said um, they last about six weeks so the, the packet usually says it, six to eight weeks. Um, and just from my experience, I'm reapplying every six weeks because you can tell when it's sort of worn, like it's, it's not in there anymore. So do the maths on that. You're gonna to have to apply that product, say eight or nine times a year. So straight away, there's a difference of three or four applications between the two products. So you don't need to apply this one as often. So we're not even taking it into consideration technology at this point. So potentially those three or four extra applications may mean that you need to buy another bag. So if this is $70, $80 a bag, you're already looking at 140 bucks around there to get yourself that second bag, if that makes sense. Whereas this one's 110, you're also potentially buying a 20 kilo bag as opposed to 25. So the point I wanna make is that while the upfront cost might be a bit higher, from what I have read and the research I've done, you're looking at actually better bang for your buck. So a better value product in the long term because of the longevity and because it's actually a controlled release pattern. Um, so yeah, it makes sense that if there's more research and better technology in the product, it's probably going to be more expensive. So I did just want to make that point because Sometimes we're not really comparing apples with apples. So I found that to be pretty interesting. Um, all right, um, what I will also talk about is, hopefully you can see it, otherwise I'll put a little graphic up, but it's got like these like fluoro um, granules in there. They're like orange, high vis type thing. And I reckon that is awesome because so many times like I'll run out of a battery on my spreader or something and you have a look with this product you can see it so you can see how evenly dispersed it is you can see if you need to put more out in a, in a particular area I really really like that um, feature I'm guessing that that's why they did that otherwise whoever did it just likes pretty colors but good on you um, <laughs> yeah anyways I'm gonna put this product out we'll water it in with the sumi soaker um, but yeah I just wanted to make sure you knew why I'm using these products and that I've paid for it all myself and I will be documenting it. You'll see it. I won't be able to hide anything. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it um, if you got anything out of today's video please make sure you give me a like and subscribe but anyways enjoy the rest of your weekend and thank you for watching i'll see you next week on lawn care australia